Good Burger 2. We are back into the remake metaverse here. Uh, here we go. Good Burger 2 has officially been greenlit by Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus is giving the deals out, man. I need a Paramount Plus deal. You know, I ain't no Kenny Nakel, but I mean, Paramount Plus shelling out the money. Anybody at Paramount Plus want to holler at your boy to let me know? Uh, but they are, they're giving this money out. News revealed Friday on Jimmy Fallon. Uh, it's been over 25 years since the customer service at Good Burger was born, man. Um, all right. Well, I mean, when is it? Oh, story continues. Ed is one of the timeless characters. We are thrilled to talk, take audiences, orders, and adventures. I don't know. Is it going to be good, though? Is it going to be good? That's all I want to know. I mean, Good Burger is such a beloved movie fans have cherished for years. And packed with comedy cameos and plenty of Easter eggs from original Good Burger. Oh, God. You know what this means? <laughs> it's hopefully like just the all... Shouts out to my girl Angela from all that. Angelique. Shouts out to you, girl. Uh, I need to holler at you. You know what I mean? Uh, we def I definitely need to holler at you. I, I probably should get her... Well, she might have to be mom on this, so maybe not. Maybe I can't bring her on the show. I've had her on the show before, and uh, we did a live, but I don't have a video version of that, me and Angelique. But um, I don't know. I, I just wanted to be the cast of all that, you know what I mean, bringing all them back in. What the storyline going to be, I don't know. Could it be two rival restaurants? Yeah, I mean, I guess the whole thing is about them working in the restaurant, but not like... You know, they ain't in their 40s like where well, I'm in my 40s. So it, it still be funny if they were, if, let me scroll back up so y'all know what I'm talking about. It still be funny if they were working at a restaurant, though. <laughs> like, they 40, of course, they're not going to play 40 year olds. Like, they still have the braids, right? They still, uh, the Jada Pickett braids. Uh, still had the Jada Pickett braids. And I don't know what the storyline would be, though. You know, is it funny if they working at a restaurant still? Yeah. I think it wouldn't work if they were owners of a restaurant. Oh, work of the good burger, home of the good burger. Uh, I just don't want to see, and I don't mind, uh, uh, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't, I don't want to see influences in it, but I know it's going to be influences in it. You know what I mean? Y'all saw House Party 2. I didn't. You know what I mean? Y'all saw House Party 2. Or, or, or whatever it's called. What is that called? House Party 4? 5? House Party 4, right? Y'all saw that house party. I didn't, but I heard it was terrible. I heard it's a bunch of influencers that was in the no, note. No shade to influencers, all right? I, I, I'm, I can't say I'm one, <laughs> but no shade to that. But I just heard it was bad. I don't want Good Burger to, to be filled with influencers. That's I'm just that's all I'm saying. I don't want to see, I don't want Good Burger to have ice spice in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them like, you know how he used to dance, Kel used to dance, or Ed used to dance all corny and stuff. Uh I forgot the uh what was the good burger? What was the good burger? Uh I forgot about the good burger song, but I don't want them, I need to look that up. <laughs> But I don't want them like ice spice, you know. It, it gets to be too much when you have too many cameos, I think, you know. And maybe the people think. But are y'all sick of remakes? All right, this is Good Burger 2. Is it too late to have Good Burger 2? I mean, did, did we did we want that like 15 years ago? All right, Good Burger 2. And here's another thing. When I saw these two growing up, and like I said, growing up, we all was the same age. I was trying to get on Nickelodeon. I was trying. I was trying my damnedest to get on Nickelodeon. And my mom was like, I said, oh, mom, you need to drive me down to Florida for auditions for Nickelodeon. My mom said, oh, shoot. <laughs> my mama said, where? I said, uh, Florida, Orlando. She was like, no, Orlando. <laughs> I was like, damn. So I always liked to, that was the first time I really wanted to act. Uh, before all that was there, actually. Um, but when they had just about to start, I was like, damn. Uh, but, you know, when you used to watch all that, you just thought Kale was just going to 
soon as he, you know, go solo, it was going to be everything. And it did not happen that way. That's just to let you know, man, like anything can happen in Hollywood, definitely. I've been in L.A. for 11 years, 12 years. This is 12th year, I think, this month. And uh, anything can happen, man. We just thought that, oh, Kale's going to kill it. He's going to have movies and all that, a TV show. And it was Keenan. Keenan. They both went to the Saturday Night Live audition. I just thought it was Keenan and Kale didn't get invited. But I learned that Kale did go to the Saturday Night Live audition. And Keenan was the one that got the role. And he'd been there, you know, ever since. Now, my thing with Keenan is, you know, he'd be doing his thing on SNL. I guess his goal was to be on SNL the longest. My thing with SNL is that, like, dude, go do your... First of all, you were already famous, all right, before you got on SNL. And so my thing is you didn't have to you know, stay on the SNL that long. Like, bruh, go do your thing. You don't need to, you don't need to be, you know, you don't, you don't need to be on SNL that long. You don't need to. Just leave, man. Do your own movies and stuff. And I think with people at SNL, it's like, okay, you're supposed to be there for eight years, then leave. All right, eight years is long enough. You've been on that grind, that SNL grind, you can leave. But Keenan, I guess he just didn't want to, I don't know, I thought, I thought he was just afraid to go anywhere. And like he did like with the Fat Albert movie and then it kind of flopped. But it was kind of like a bad time because that's when like the allegations, then the allegations start after the Fat Albert movie. So I just thought, dude, it was just a bad time. Like every movie you put out ain't going to be a banger, right? Every movie, every song you do ain't going to be a banger. Every TV show you do ain't going to be a banger. But hey, man, you got fans you know, they'll they'll still be with you. They'll still be with you with the ups and downs. I know some people are unforgiving, all right? But hopefully, I'm hoping that, you know, Good Burger 2, I think, you know, it's a perfect time. Hey, look, they're doing a bunch of remakes. 